Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Eric, and these are the Status Audio CB1. So they are a closed back headphone. They run anywhere from $60 to $80, depending on when and where you get them from. And uh, they're pretty highly regarded on a lot of consumer electronics sites, which made me think, why not give them a shot? Uh, for $60, you know, that's not a terrible price for a decent set of closed back headphones if that's what you're going for. I have been uh, testing a lot of closed back headphones in and around $100 lately. And so uh, if you're new to the channel, kind of the structure that I follow with this is I'll do, um, you know, some uh, an overview of like the build quality and the comfort. We'll talk about sound. And then after I've kind of reviewed and concluded the video, we will jump into some sound demos where I will compare these to another closed back headphone. Now, if you want more than that, more than just one comparison, you can go to this link up here and that will take you to another video of mine where I compare about half a dozen closed back headphones with sound demos. Just one note about those sound demos is that you need to wear headphones for them and they're not perfect, but they're just to help you get an understanding of what the sound signature of each set of headphones is like. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the Status Audio CB1s. Now, if we're looking at these headphones, you know, um, what, honestly, what drew me to these headphones is these giant cushy pads that they have. I'm a big fan of like big cushy headphone pads. And you can see these ones, they're pretty substantial. Um, so that was kind of what made me think, ah, maybe all those, maybe those status audio headphones will be for me. Now, what I found with these headphones is that the pads, um, and kind of this is the theme for the overall headphone in general, is it's there, they make an attempt at, at getting you what you want, but it all falls in the subpar when it comes to um, quality. And that's, if I had like a general theme for this headphone, that's it. It kind of, it checks all the boxes. It kind of gives you everything that you probably would want in a headphone. It's just, it's not executed well enough, um, in my opinion, to warrant, you know, the purchase of the headphone. So spoiler alert, that's kind of the conclusion of the video, but let's, let's get into some specifics here. So one, the pleather on these, while not the worst that I felt, um, it, it's also not the nicest. It's pretty stiff um, and the pads in general are pretty stiff. So while they are fairly comfortable headphones, the issue that I have is that I don't get a good seal on my head. Now I have a rather small head, but um, here at the bottom, I don't get a great seal. Now after I've worn them for a while, they kind of, the pads kind of warm up and maybe mold to my head a little bit. So I feel like I get a better seal the longer I wear them. But if I'm just popping them on right away, I really don't get a very good seal at all. And, and, and that is a big issue because one, it kind of bothers me in the comfort region, but two, it negatively impacts the sound because you don't get nearly as good bass response if you don't have that good seal. So that really is kind of like the big deal breaker for me on these headphones. So while the pads are big and comfy, they're just a little too stiff. If they were just a little bit softer, I think they would be great, um, but, they're, but they're just a little too stiff. So um, going over the rest of the build, there's a little bit of padding here under the headband. And uh, again, it's, it's nothing great. It's, it's there. I, I didn't find them uncomfortable to wear um, as far as the headband goes. Everything is plastic. It, it's a, like a 100% plastic build. You can see even the bands that the headphones are on are uh, plastic. But you know, in this, all this, the swivels, which they do swivel and you can kind of fold them up in a nice little package like this. And none of it feels like, like it's going to break on me. It just doesn't feel nice. The materials feel rather cheap. The materials feel, the plastic feels rather uh, thin and it, it just doesn't feel like a real, like tough product or a real nice product. And again, that's a shame because I really think they are pretty nice looking headphones. I like that they really have no branding on them at all. Um, and I think they look 
you know, pretty cool. They may be just because of the big pads, they might look like a little goofy when they're on your head, um, just because they're so large. But, you know, in general, I think they're a really nice headphone, really nice looking headphone. And I really like kind of the design of them. I just wish it was made with higher quality uh, materials. Uh, another bonus for the status, another thing I, I think they did pretty well is the cable. Um, you can see it's not a real long cable when it's all coiled up, you know, maybe about, oh, I don't know, like four feet long. But then that, that you know, the, the coil gives you a couple extra feet of reach if you need it, which I like. It is a detachable cable with a 3.5 millimeter um, that goes into the headphone and it's got kind of like a little twist locking mechanism there uh, when it goes in. And then the end terminates into a 3.5 with the typical quarter inch screw on adapter on there. So cable, I really like. I like that it's detachable. Um, even though it's got a proprietary end that goes into it, I think that you probably could sneak in, you know, uh, if you had a thinner aftermarket cord, I think you could probably sneak that in there without much trouble. Um, so I think you could probably find a, an aftermarket cable that fits pretty well if you wanted to do that. Um, so yeah, I like the design, don't like the materials. That'd be, that'd be the summary of the build quality. Now that we've talked about the build quality and the comfort of this headphone, let's go ahead and talk about the sound. Now, I would say in, in many regards, the sound is kind of in the same vein as the build. And it, it, it kind of has everything that you want. I'd say it's got a nice kind of overall, like a fairly balanced sound to it. I don't feel like the bass, the mids, or the treble, I don't feel like any of them are too like out of whack with the rest of them. So I'd say the overall sound signature is pretty nice, but I also think it kind of lacks refinement and resolution that really that I'm looking for in a headphone. Um, and I think at this price range, you can find better headphones that are more resolving and you can get like more detail out of. The thing that I think this does best, I would say is a uh, bass. And while it's not like a bass head headphone, it does, I think offer some really nice bass, like really nice lower frequencies. Um, they've got some good texture to them. They've got a nice little bit of punch. They're not overdone. They don't really bleed into the mids at all. So I think the bass on this headphone is, is pretty decent. I, I really enjoy it, honestly, as long as you get that good seal with the pads. I would say that it's a more intimate headphone, so vocals are really kind of close up um, in your face, and really everything is pretty close up and, and in your head on this headphone. There isn't a lot of sound stage to speak of. I'll talk more about that here in a minute, but vocals especially are kind of right up front. And um, while I think like the levels of the mids are good, there seems to just be something off about them that that doesn't sound natural to me. And some songs, they sound fine, but then in other cases, I feel like they come off just like a little bit thin or a little bit sterile. And that's kind of a weird combination to have the vocals be like intimate and kind of in your face, but also thin and sterile. So it's, it's kind of a weird presentation in that regard. And I guess um, when listening to things like folk music, to me, some songs just sounded way off and I didn't enjoy listening to them at all on this headphone, while other songs sounded okay. So it was really, I, I'm not exactly sure what it is that's off about them, but something is just a little bit off where they don't sound quite as natural um, as I think they should. Highs, um, again, I don't feel like the, the treble, I don't feel like it's out of whack at all. I, I think it's a good level, but I did find it to be um, just not very resolving. Um, so, you know, you just don't get a whole lot of detail in those highs. And while really I've never been like a treble head, like I've never really um, like enjoyed a lot of treble or anything like that, I do like to hear the definition in it. And I don't think that these headphones really deliver in that regard. So speaking of that, and then also talking about the soundstage, I did try these uh, headphones out 
for some gaming. I did try some Call of Duty Warzone with them and they are definitely not a gaming headphone. I can tell you that much. Um, I, I didn't find the imaging to be very accurate. The sound stage is small. So my experience in gaming with the status CB1s was that I actually thought they were like a, like they had a detriment a detrimental effect on my gameplay. I didn't feel like I could position enemies well um, and I often, you know, I was like spinning around trying to find an enemy and then of course I would get shot and be done. So they're not a gaming headphone, um, definitely only for, you know, music is, is what you'd want to use these headphones for. So they're not really like a multifaceted headphone. So I, I didn't try watching any movies with them, but again, because of the lack of soundstage, I would imagine that they don't, you know, present movies in a super interesting way. So, um, this seems like it's been a pretty negative review and I don't know that they warrant like that much of a negative review. Maybe I'm just starting to get pickier and pickier uh, with my headphones. What I will say is I think it's a pretty good effort and I think for $60, like it's almost there. It's almost there. If it was just the materials were just a little bit nicer, if the sound quality was just a little bit better, I, I think it would be a really nice package. Unfortunately, the, the build quality is, is not great. The materials used are not great. The comfort is good as long as you can get a good seal on your head. I couldn't, I have a rather small head. That might be different for you. Um, and then the sound, again, I just, I just think there are better options out there uh, for the money. Um, so would I recommend this headphone? Probably not. I, I don't think uh, this is the first place I would look. Um, currently, out of all the closebacks I've tried that are under $100, I think the Cooler Master MH571s uh, or 751s, I'm not sure the model number exactly. I think those are about the best all around package and I will be reviewing those very, very soon. I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, compare these uh, headphones with it sound with those sound demo wise just because I did uh, last my last review was the Audio Technica ATH M40X's and I compared those to these um, and I didn't particularly care for those headphones either so I think just to do something a little bit different I'll compare these to the Cooler Master um, 751's and you can see the difference there but all in all I think that's a better all around headphone um, much better sound stage and imaging wise than this one and I just thought they sounded a little more natural than these do. Although I probably like the bass better on the status to be honest with you. So um, for the sound demo here, uh, again you're definitely going to want to put some headphones on. Uh, obviously your headphones are going to color those sound demos so they're not going to be perfect but it should give you an idea of the overall sound signature of each of these headphones and, and probably you'll get an idea of the difference in sound stage and imaging too I would think but that might depend on the microphones and that might not turn out so well. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you think you can notice a difference in them. Um, thank you for watching the review. I will have more reviews coming soon. I've got about three or four more sets of closed back headphones that I'm going to do and then I've got a few other headphones that I'm going to start on after that. So uh, if you're interested in some more headphone reviews, stick around. Thank you and I will catch you next time. Don't feel alone in this world The best is yet to come Why focus on those bad times This daylight is precious See yourself as number one Hold on to him And never let him go Your star is shining bright There's something you should know we rise and we fall Don't feel alone in this world The best is yet to come Why focus on those bad times? This daylight is precious See yourself as number one Hold on to him And never let him go your star is shining bright There's something you should know We rise and we fall
Don't feel alone in this world The best is yet to come Why focus on those bad times? This daylight is precious See yourself as number one Hold on to him And never let him go Your star is shining bright There's something you should know We rise and we fall I know I try To make a man same time I know love is hard to find Time, you and I, I was 
minutes, days and nights Trading all of our deadlines For conversations over wine Killing time, you and I In this moment we're alive Infatuated with your eyes And the way they look at mine When we're killing time Hot honey 